This is Ethan with Comtech. I'm here doing a quick demo on the Yealink 23G phone. It's going to be very similar to the Yealink 46S video uh, that I do the color screen, but this one, we're gonna go down the exact same setup sheet. If you do not have this help guide or setup sheet, then look in the link below, you'll see the link to get the sheet. When we go down this sheet, the first thing is making a phone call. You either pick up the handset or you press the speaker phone. Those are your two options. You do not have to hit a line. You do not have to dial nine or one. You just dial a 10 digit number and you can make a phone call. Ending a call, pretty self-explanatory. Hang up the handset or press the speaker phone if the phone's on speaker phone. Redial and instant redial. I'm gonna cover these two together. That is this button right here that says RD. When you press that, it's gonna pull up a list of any numbers that you have called recently. If you press it again, it is gonna call the last number that you dialed. That's the instant redial option. Hold and park, I like to cover together. Hold is personal. That means if you're on an active phone call, if you have an active phone call going, you want to go check uh, something. Let's say you're going to get a document for a client. You're gonna put the call on hold. Now you're gonna notice there isn't a hold option or a hold button. These buttons right here are what we call soft buttons. They are gonna change depending on what call you're in or if you're in a call. So when you pick up the handset, one of these options will be hold. Press the hold option, go and get the document or whatever you need for the client, come back, press the hold again, you'll resume the call. Now, let's change that same situation up and let's say you're going to speak with Susie. Susie could potentially need to pick up this phone call. What you would do is you would put them on park which is like a public hold. So you're gonna see your parks are over here on the right hand side, park one, two, and three, depending on what your company is. But you're gonna press park. When you press park, it'll light up red. You walk into Susie's office or you call her and you say, Susie, so-and-so's on park one for you. She presses the button, that parking lot goes back green again and you're good to go. Intercom. Intercom is if you want to dial someone directly straight into that other person's speaker phone. So obviously you can just dial an internal extension and it'll ring the person's phone. But if you wanna know if Susie's in her office, you can dial star 50 and then Susie's extension and it goes directly into Susie's speaker phone and you can say, Susie, are you in there? And are you able to take a call? It goes directly on her speaker phone so she does not have to pick up the handset. Transfer and transfer directly to voicemail. If you are in an active call, you can press the transfer button, which is right here. When you press that transfer button, you dial the extension of who you wanna transfer it to, and you hit transfer again. Hitting transfer the second time is what sends the call through. So example, Susie's extension 100, you have a phone call going, you press transfer, you dial 100, you hit transfer. That'll send the call to Susie. If you wanna transfer it directly to Susie's voicemail, let's say Susie's out of the office. You wanna make sure that the client still gets to Susie but doesn't have to listen to the phone ring four or five times. You're gonna hit transfer when you're in the active phone call. You're gonna hit transfer. You're gonna dial seven, 100, transfer. The seven, the number seven in front of the extension is what tells the system to send it straight to voicemail. So it doesn't actually ring Susie's phone, it just goes straight into her voicemail. Conference, this is when you're in an active phone call and you say, we need to bring Susie into that phone call with us. What you're gonna do is again, you're not gonna see a conference button. You're gonna, these soft buttons, one of them will turn into a C-O-N-F button. You're gonna press that, it's gonna give you a dial tone. You can either dial Susie's extension or if you wanted to bring someone in from the outside, you can dial their phone number. When you dial that, when they pick up, you're gonna press the conference button again. When you press that, it's gonna bring all the calls together. You're actually gonna see both numbers of who is on the phone on the screen. You also have options there that you can split the call back out if you wanna separate the call back out. 
Check in voicemail remotely. This isn't a big thing anymore uh, because a lot of our clients are sending their voicemails directly to email. But if you're not, if you're leaving them on the phone, then what you're gonna wanna do is you can either press message if you're in the office, but if you're outside the office like this, check in voicemail remotely, you're gonna dial into your main number, you're gonna press the star key, and it's gonna ask you for your extension number, you're gonna type that in, then you can type your password in. DND button, this is probably the call that we get the most, and the DND button is right here. If you press that on these Yealink 23s, they're gonna have a DND option up on the top right. That means do not disturb. That means this phone call or this phone will not ring whatsoever. It will only, any calls transferred to it will always go directly to voicemail. It can still make calls out just fine, but it will not ring. We get that call often and we often ask you, check your DND button and make sure that you haven't pressed it on. If you have one of the color phones, it actually lights up a red circle up at the top with a white line through it, kind of very similar to a stop sign. Volume, we call this situational volume. Volume's down here at the bottom. It is a volume that works whatever your current situation is. So if you have, if you're on a phone call and you can't hear the person, press the volume up button. If the phone is sitting just like it is now, if you want your ringer to ring louder, press the volume up button. The, vo the same volume button works in different areas, just depending on what you're doing. I wanna flip over here now and go through this part just briefly. If you're getting your phone and you haven't done this yet, please make sure you flip over and you see the voicemail portion. We ask that you do this very first thing, and that is, it's called setting up my new phone. You're gonna press the message button. When you press this, your default password is gonna be 1212. When you log into your voicemail, the very first thing it's gonna ask you to do is set up a greeting or set up your name and then set up a greeting. Please record both of those. We see many people who skip the name portion and the name portion is crucial for the audio directory inside of your auto attendant. So please do that. We also recognize that not everybody's gonna get it right on the first try. It's kind of hard to get your voicemail right on the first try. That's okay. If you read down the, she the sheet, you're gonna be able to see where you can change your name, where you can change your voicemail. With that, that's pretty much this sheet. You'll see at the bottom of both sides, we have support at comtechnc.com. We also have our main number, the 336-570-9409. If you choose option one for support, any of the technicians will be able to help you do this. Have a great day.